Hey guys, this is Joint and you are watching Tech Area Network. Today it's our third tutorial in the ongoing web server series on Windows and Linux server both. In our last video, we have seen how we can host multiple websites on a single web server using HTTP port number. But do we ever browse any website using IP addresses and port numbers and all? Simply no. We used to use a human readable name instead of IP address and port number. If you want to browse Google, then you just type www.google.com. If you want to browse YouTube, then you just type www.youtube.com and so on. Today, we will ex experience uh, those practical things. Now, let me introduce our today's topic. So, our today's topic is how can we host multiple websites on a single Microsoft IIS 10 web server using DNS names. The title itself describes how your audience can get your website or websites by name. At the same time, a question also raised, why should we need to host multiple websites on a single web server? Suppose you have a group of two companies, one belongs to the car industry and another to the online shopping industry. You would certainly want to host two different websites for these two companies, right? A uh, simple, a very simple solution is you just add uh, two web servers, two separate web servers into your network and then host two websites on those uh, web servers. But why would you do that when you can serve the same purpose by having a single web server only? Today, we will do that with some real life approaches. The minimum requirements of this practical are one DNS server, one IIS 10 web server and one Windows 10 PC or any other client PC. In my case, the DNS server is powered by Windows Server 2019 and the IP is 192.168.0.105 and then the uh, web server, the IIS 10 web server that is also powered by Windows Server 2019 and the IP address is 192.168.0.100 and uh, at the same time I am having a Windows 10 client PC. This is my Windows 10 PC and from here I will connect to my DNS server remotely. The DNS server IP address is 192.168.0.105 and I am logging here as a local administrator of this server. This is my Windows Server 2019 and I will make this server as a DNS server. For doing that I have to add this role here, click on next, next. This is the host name and the IP address of this server. And here I have to add the role called DNS server. Click on add features, next. And finally, I have to click on install to install the role. So the DNS role has been installed here. Let me show you the DNS console from this Windows Server 2019. Let me click on tools and then click on DNS. This is the console of the Windows DNS server. If you have expanded the uh, host name here, then you can find an area called forward lookup zones. By default, there is no zone hosted here. I have to create a new zone. But before that, let me tell you what a forward lookup zone is. When you type www.google.com in your web browser, a DNS server searches in its forward lookup zone for the IP address of the www.google.com and then serving it on your web browser. This is how you can access all the websites. In a nutshell, a forward lookup zone resolves the domain name to the IP address. For adding a new forward lookup zone, I have to right click on the forward lookup zones and then click on new zone. If you have gone through my last video, then you must know I am working on two different websites, but I have used uh, IP addresses and port numbers to access them. Now let me address the websites with some proper names. Let's use techareanetwork.com and tan.com respectively as the domain names for them. After clicking on new zone, a wizard has come up. Click on next, keeping all the available options as default. As I have told you to use techareanetwork.com as the domain name of my first website, so I have to put the zone name as techareanetwork.com. Click on next and then next. Keep all the available options as default here and finally click on finish. So guys, you can see a new forward lookup zone or a domain name called takearea has been created here. 
Now I have to add a host record or a, a record in order to point my first website with this domain name. So click on new host record. We always use www as a prefix for almost all the websites we want to open. So in my case I have to put www as the name of this host record. This will finally become www.takearianetwork.com as the FQDN or the fully qualified domain name. After entering www, I must put the IP address of the web server where my first website is hosted and the IP address is 192.168.0.100. For detailed information, you can check out my last video. Finally, click on add host to add the host record here. Before going to the web server part, let me tell you a few words on host record or A record in DNS. The most common type of record is an A record or host record. The most usage of a host record or A record is being seen in website hosting on a web server. The basic function of a DNS server which is domain name to IP address mapping is taken care of this record. Now I have to edit a few settings in the web server where my first website is being hosted. So this is my first website management console on Windows Server 2019 web server with which you are already aware since my last video of this web server. I have to edit the site binding settings for this website. Since I have planned to map www.takearianetwork.com with this website, so I have to put the FQDN as www.takearianetwork.com and the IP address that is 192.168.0.100 and the default port number that is port 80 would be remain same as per this web server itself. Again, I would like to request you to watch my last video on this web server series for detailed information. Now it's time to test the thing whatever we did here so far. Let's go to the Windows 10 PC. Now I am on my Windows 10 PC and this is my first website content which was previously accessed by the IP address. If everything goes well, then we should see the same content if we type http colon double slash www.takearianetwork.com But no, we are getting error because I said earlier in this video that a DNS server searches in its forward lookup zone for the IP address of the websites we are browsing for. And my Windows 10 PC does not know to which DNS server it should send the HTTP request to open www.takearianetwork.com. In this case, the DNS server would be the DNS server which I have configured recently. So what I have to do here is put our DNS server IP address that is 192.168.0.105 into the DNS server information of this Windows 10 PC. Let's go to the properties of this LAN card. Go to the properties of the TCP IP v4 and then put the DNS server. In my case, the DNS server would be 192.168.0.105. Now let's try to open my first website by its name. And the name is http colon double slash www.takearianetwork.com. Great, we can see the same thing by accessing the website by its name. So we can say, say that uh, it's working properly. Now it's time to do the same thing for my second website because hosting multiple websites on a single web server was, the, was an objective of this video. So this was the uh, content when we have uh, tried the second website by the IP address and the port number. Now let's configure my second website and uh, try to open the second website by its name. So right now I am on my DNS server and here I have to create a new zone for the second website. In my case, the second website uh, name would be tan.com. So I have created a zone called tan.com. Now let's create a host record under this tan.com zone. And the host record name would be www and map it with the IP address of the hosting web server of my second website and the IP address would be 192.168.0.100. Finally click on add host, click on ok, done. So uh, www host record has been created under tan.com zone. Let's go to the web server that is 192.168.0.100 and this is the management console of my second website. 
go to the bindings area to edit the site bindings settings. Let's put the host name or the domain name as www.tan.com. Now I should change the HTTP port number to the default one that is port 80. In my last video I changed the, this port number here just to distinguish these two websites by port number. But now we don't need to do that because we have implemented DNS names for this purpose. So let's change the port number to port 80 and finally click on OK. Now let's check the things whatever we did now by accessing my second website by its name that is tan.com. So let's open a tab and put http colon double slash triple w dot tan.com. So we can uh, see the same thing or same content which we have seen when we have accessed the second website by the name by the IP address and port number. So we have completed our today's objectives. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for another exciting video of this web server series on Windows and Linux server both.